I am going to itch me where it scratches. Welcome, folks. This is the Freakers Ball right here live tonight on Friday, April 3rd, 2020. And I'm coming to you from my little lockdown to your little lockdowns. How the hell y'all doing out there? Oh, yeah. Hopefully you're doing all right on this fine, fine Friday night. And hopefully you're uh, not too feeling, feeling too closed in. And I know some of you may be. Uh, people aren't used to this. I'm used to it. But uh, most of y'all out there are, are not used to it. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, I, I wish you all the best in all of that. And here with us this evening, we have... Uh, oh, shoot. Shoot. We have, oh, shoot. We have, oh, shoot. It's the Mighty Moose Girl. <laughs> it is. And I forgot to meet the player. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm here now. All right, all right, good. <laughs> uh, uh, in there. Yeah, good, that's good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, definitely uh, Kate's pointing out in the chat. She's first off says, howdy inmates, and then she tells that uh, she's she's like right. me. She likes me. She likes it when it's voluntary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Anyway, hi and howdy to all the folks out there on the various sites that were on the uh, uh, RealLiberty.org, FreedomsNetwork.com, RLMRadio.xyz. That's that's all where where the audio stream is going now. We have less places the audio stream is going now with this new stream because it's okay. new new and I haven't hooked it up to all the other places. Uh, you, you probably all don't remember back when I started the previous radio stream. It took a couple of months to get all the all the little connections put in. But at this time, I'm not even sure if those people are out there uh, that I can hook up with and make connections because they're non-essential. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people uh, are, have been deemed to be that. Yeah, I'm sure I would be if, if I allowed them to deem me anything. But anyway, <laughs> hi, and, hi and howdy to all the folks here in the chat room uh, and the bots. And the bodies, as Flash somebody likes to say. Uh, the bots, like Barman and the bodies, like Beetle and Cowboy Tech and myself and the Moose Girl. Mm -hmm. Miss Kate and Anti and Asmo and Chalcedoni. Miss Dom Von Mita and her uh, lovely guitar work. Have you seen her guitar work? Yes, I oh, have. Oh, yeah, she's, 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 pictures. she's, yes. she's quite, Very the, nice. quite the artist. Very nice. Yeah, so we got the frumpy and Gram Z, if she's still awake. Uh, I hope you're doing better, Grammy. Uh, she, Grammy got in a little uh, auto accident this la yes, last weekend, did. and it, and it it could have been drastic, but uh, it could have been bad. Yeah, yeah. thanks, thanks to the universe that uh, she's Absolutely. still here and her Absolutely. hubby's still here. We love you, Grammy. All right, yeah, we do. Yeah, we got the Java Doctor and Hansel, aka Judge Dread, uh, Meister Meister Brow, the Woodman. Prince and Rob. Hey, Rob, thank you for the bubbler. Always always appreciate your bubbler. Kevin, our direction. We got Rome's AKA Trust No One. Uh, the Vanna White bot. The Vinny, not so much of a bot. Um, <laughs> weather, <laughs> weather Dork and Phantom and CC66. Joskura. Joskura! Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd say something, but I'm not going to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Cyborg Noodle. E Man. NSIV. Run it! The, the JJ's JJ's was chatting with us a little bit today. I'm glad to see that JJ's. He did his yeah. radio. He did his radio show over there on Webcom Radio. That's uh, always cool. Uh, we got Kiss and Pone Sauce in the sock puppet. Soccer, uh, smart ass, the holiest of Rogers and Zipix, Zipix. <laughs> oh boy! So that's all the folks oh I see God. here available in the chat. I don't know if Chloe's listening from our oh, other secret little room or not. I don't. I don't see her chiming in. So, hey Chloe, if you're listening. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. So what a what a what a world we live in, huh? Yes. Oh my you, gosh. Man, it's craziness. It's craziness. Well, my hands can't take this over hand washing. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like I have lesions and cuts on my hands. It's really, it's very. Well, you're, you're using those nasty chemicals on there, and and you, you don't well, need. Yeah, you, you, you don't need to. Right you don't need to. You don't need to use that stuff. Uh, what stuff? 
that, that alcohol based sanitizer. Oh, I use L. I have some with aloe in it, so it's not too bad. But does it still have the alcohol? Yeah. Yeah. See, you don't need that. You don't need, just just use just use water or a little tiny bit of soap with the water. I I use right. I, I like using the Dawn. Uh, yeah, that hand sanitizer, man. Just, oh my just, god! Just, just like a little, a little dot of the of the Dawn. But you liquid. can't bring that all. You can't really have. Yeah, that yeah. In yeah the just car. get a, just get a little a little tube, a little uh, thing. They make them for real. You know, they sell them for like a dollar. It's a dollar store, um, and it's just no. like a little thing. And you could put soap in there or whatever. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could take, it sounds you, like a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than screwing up your hands. Uh, right. At least, <laughs> at, at least that's how I look at it. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could. I mean, it, it's just not practical when you're out and about, you know. Well, I know, but if you got sanitizer, it's a, it's you put it in the same sanitizer container. Right, right. Right. So. But then you got to rinse. You can't just put soap on there. You got to oh. rinse with water or whatever. Right. Well, okay. Sorry, I moved my mic. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, don't get you. I forgot about that part because I don't use that hand sanitizer. Um, it, I don't. They've taken the tricyclone or whatever the fuck was in there out of it, supposedly. Oh, antibacterial. But, yeah. No, it's it was called trice tricyclan or something like that. Which is for antibacteria, right? I'm not sure. It was just not good at all. Okay. Well, yeah, you don't need all that. There. You don't need that shit on your hands all the time. But um, <laughs> the stuff they have at work, yeah, is really harsh. It's like the clear, just straight up fucking harsh hand sanitizer. And I, I had all to right. bring mine in there because at least mine has some aloe in it. Yeah. Really, no matter what kind of soap I use, dries out my hands. But it's really bad right now because of this over excessive. Hand wash. Even just what I I do use mostly soap and water from. Okay. The main places I use hand sanitizer are at work or in the you know if I got gas or whatever you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's. Uh, I know it's not good. I mean, but what do you you know what I mean? Well, I I just I mean I I don't I have not changed any of my methods of doing things that I always have done. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not concerned about it. Let's put it that way. I, okay. I'm not concerned about Corona. Uh, it's, it's it's not it's not uh, other than other. I'm I'm only concerned about the crackdown, the lockdown, the clampdown, whatever you want to put it. Um, mm -hmm. But but as far as the virus goes, eh. I, I I'm I, even if I got it, I don't care. I'm not going to die from it. I'm not going to. It's just that's that's all there is to it. I'm fine. I'm healthy. I'm strong. Mm -hmm. You are too. <laughs> yeah. So we're not going to die from it. Uh, well, it, it's for, uh, I don't know. You, you don't know what to believe with half the stuff. It's, well, uh, I know not to believe them. Them. Yeah. They. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it, I know. I know. I know. It's it's a, it's a massive. Constant bombardment and brainwashing, mm -hmm. you yeah, I, all this stuff, and and even here in New Mexico now they're saying, oh well, they didn't say they didn't say you have to wear face coverings, right. but they strongly recommend it. But right. but at the same time, don't use surgical masks or or N95 masks because well those won't do you any good. Those only work if you're a medical professional. <laughs> no, like, they work for everybody. They just I know, but that's not, what they're you saying. Know, supposedly stable as far. Yeah, that's that's you know. what they're saying, and, and basically uh, the protection of the face covering they're asking for is not for you. It's not going to protect you from anything. It's going to protect them from you. Right. That's the only thing they want you to cover your face because if you breathe on one of them and you're infected, then they'll be exposed I mean this is where we're going with this people okay the coronavirus aside right yeah this is from April 3rd 2020 today New York City wants to 
you to call the cops on people who fail social distancing. Right. A lot of places it's are doing that now. Fucking slow, people. A lot, a lot. It's it's total 1984, man. It is. This is a slippery fucking slope here. Oh, this slope is been I, I hope people realize what this shit is all about. That that slope is gone. Yeah. <laughs> you slipped off that right. slope. No, it's it, you're yeah. you're geared down to the bottom of the hill now, yeah. man. If yeah, this slope surprises anybody that's listening. I've been saying it for 11 years on this show. Grimner's been saying it for 11 years on this show. I have been trying to tell people and giving people a heads up for well, over 11 fucking years. I, I got to say it. I got to say it. You know what? What? I'm sorry if you didn't fucking believe me, but now, how are you liking me now? Yeah. How are you liking me now? <laughs> well, I got to say, I got to say, if no other place in the world other than here in the Real Liberty Media chat, Right. These these people know the 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 majority of them know. Yeah, I would say the majority yeah. of people yeah. are yeah. Uh, almost are on the same I would, age for I, the I, most part. Right. Yeah. I mean, I could pick out a few that are that right. are probably still b- bit a bit behind the curve, but uh, right. All, the, almost. The most part, uh, yeah. I, I mean, we we we've all been talking about this and listening. Uh, I wasn't to, talking about RLM though. I was talking about I know, everybody the, the else general, out there. The real fucking didn't want to listen to me. 11 goddamn years ago, or even a year ago. Right, right? The, the real world. It's not the RLM chat. It's Yeah, everybody out there that's, oh, 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 oh. you know what? Yeah. I hope you're ignorant. I hope you're loving your the fuck out of your ignorance now. Yeah. Uh. I really do, because if you can't see what the fucking is fucking going on, if you can't see the forest or the goddamn trees on this one, the- you're, there's no hope for you. Okay, well, let me let me let me address what's going on in the chat here first uh, for a moment. Okay, sorry. Uh, because they're having problems with Vaughn dot live slash really really media. That works just fine. I don't know okay. where dot tv comes from. Um, where where'd you get dot tv from? Um, I don't know. I, I don't either. But it's not dot tv. And no, the audio stream is not connected with the video stream. They're totally separate. Yep. <laughs> the uh, the. The the Voscast that we're using for the now what page? I'm listening. I'm looking at the Real Liberty Freakers Ball page. Oh, the page link, the link on the show page. He says, okay. Well, that's I, where I'm. Oh, the link. Oh, the link. Oh, uh, okay. And okay. I, and that may be left over from something else. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at that. Um. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. Sorry, man. <laughs> I did not know that. Oh boy. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out, though. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good information. I'm using Brave as my my browser, and that works so wonderful. Yeah. Brave is an awesome browser. I'm giving up Waterfox altogether. All right. Like, I'm switching to Brave because, and even Firefox is better than Waterfox. I mean. Let's see. Pop-up video. View on. Okay. Uh, the text on the on the on the, on the page that says view on Vaughn Live TV. It's yep, actually yep. a it's actually a link. Uh huh. To the oh no that's right. Oh no it's not right. <laughs> okay I see now. It used to be Vaughn Live TV. It's an old thing. I'll I'll have to modify that link. I'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, he can't do that right now. Like he could, but it would be a huge delay in the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not a huge delay, but a yeah, number yeah, one. <laughs> so yeah, that's an old. I, I I never I don't remember ever realizing that they changed. Uh, I not until this very moment. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Like what I was saying, if any of this is surprising, is surprising to you yeah. out there, people out there, then you have not been paying attention. Well, that's probably true. For a long time. Yeah. And you've refused to see or get the information that's out there to do the, your own research. And, you know, I've said a, 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 long, a lot, I've said... Do your own fucking research. We're not here to fucking, I mean, tell you what the fuck to do or what to think. Right. We're just telling you our feel, our opinion, which everybody has an opinion. Okay, so well, let, let, me, let me let me let me ask you because since you work at a place where there's more people working. Yes. How many people work there? 
15. I mean, okay. So, do are anybody is has anybody at your work contracted coronavirus? No, no, no. not that I know of. Okay. Anybody in your family? I think if someone had, they would have told us. Any, anybody in your family? No. Not anybody yet. that you know at all? Uh, I know some people, a friend of mine from the city said on Facebook that he had two of his friends in the ICU because of the virus, but I, I can't confirm or that. I can't confirm okay. that. So a friend of a friend. Yes. <laughs> All right. Correct. All right. That's, that's as, close as close as I've gotten so far. I, I yeah. think that's as close I mean, as any of us. As, 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 that's as close as any of us who have gotten. Oh, wait. Donna says she has two friends that contracted one in Washington and one in Brooklyn. Which are the two hotspot areas? Yes, correct. Or two of the hotspot areas, not Z two, but yes. two of the. So okay, so Donna has actually direct friends that have gotten it. So that's a step closer, but uh, so okay. far, uh, nobody I know has uh, gotten that stuff. So my mom was actually tested in Florida. Yeah. It took eight days to get the result. Jesus. My mom says my mom says it's like the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. And it took eight days for her to get the results, which was like a week ago now. Yeah. Well, but, uh, from no. my understanding, you could be dead in, in four days or something. Right. Well, supposedly <laughs> the 40, 40 year old dude from New York died like quickly, like yeah, well, in a matter of days. Right. Like it apparently whatever this is. If you get it, it attacks your lungs. It makes you unable to breathe. That's the, that's why the need for ventilators. Right. And uh, if it's that quick acting, I you know I don't I just don't I don't think it's the virus. I mean, it could be a virus, but I believe it's a bioweapon. Absolutely. Well, uh, viruses are bio. In a, lab. Vi what? a virus is a great bioweapon. Yes, it is, and it's been used before. It's been done before. Vinny, Vinny had a friend show up with a case of Coronas today. Well, that's a little bit different. No limes. <laughs> All right. No limes? What the hell? I know. What was wrong with that guy? All right. Let's, uh, uh, oh, I heard that uh, Mexico has quit. Uh, the, the Corona factory in Mexico is shut down. Oh, really? Okay. Because, well, sorry, nobody's buying it. Because no. nobody's buying it. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which is really insane. It's, it's... Oh, it's ridiculous. All right, let's play some all music. Right. Um, okay, we'll do that. <laughs> and we'll come back. And this is for all you um, happy doom and gloomers. All right. All right, all right, all right. Rye freaking cooter, man. Whoo, that guy is awesome. He's freaking great. Um, <laughs> anyway, that was off of his latest back in 2018 there. The Prodigal Son is the name of that track. Ry Cooter, man. Woof. Yeah, just, just a force in the, in the blues world. Uh, before that, we had Billy String, speaking of a force, uh, doing Turmoil in Tinfoil. A couple of my favorite subjects, Turmoil in Tinfoil. Billy motherfucking strings in the band. And we kicked it off there with the Rolling Stones doing Doom and Gloom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you with me, Booth? Yeah. Yeah. Billy motherfucking strings. You know it. <laughs> He's pretty good. Yeah, to say the least. <laughs> to yes. Say to say the least, yeah, he's pretty dang good. Um, yeah, I'd say. <laughs> it's, 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 he's it's, amazing. He is. It's, 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 it's cool. It's incredible. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, anybody hears it just one time, and they're, like, sold. I know. know. Tell me about it. Everyone just <laughs> falls in love with him. Yeah. And, and that band, they do. They just instantly, like, instant fan. Sure, sure. <laughs> Which is, it's rare you know, I think that's a rare thing. I mean, I think that's what a musician musician wants. You know, they want they want that. You know, right. That's why they're doing it. Yeah. To make yeah. a living at it. Absolutely. And if you're good enough to do it, you might as well do it. Yeah. You know. Mhm. Mm it's been great throughout this. One thing that's been great 
through all, all this um, shit. nonsense. <laughs> yeah, this all. shit um, has been the musicians aren't being able to tour right now. Right. So a lot of them are doing live streams. The infamous string dusters have been doing one every night during the week. Mm hmm. Like taking turns, like Jeremy has to go to his truck <laughs> and drive it somewhere to be able to get internet service to do it. Right. So he's usually in his truck <laughs> in Colorado out there. <laughs> yeah, well, I should have mentioned, uh, I hope we stay on all night because uh, mm -hmm. I've been having some very spotty connection issues. Oh, really? Uh, out here. Uh, that's not a good sign. Yeah, no, it's not. And I, I'm just wondering how much of that is. Uh, you know, part of the plan or not. Right. That makes you, yeah. Yeah. I've been wondering that. Anyway, people, uh, well. People uh, have been speculating in the chat, too, and like, what are we going to do? How are we going to get a hold of each other? It's like, nice knowing you guys. I mean. Yeah. Well, you know, I think. Uh, I know where you live, but. If, you know, if, uh, if cell phones keep operating, then uh, we'll have those. That's a big if there, too. Yeah. <laughs> and if not, um. Uh, if, if the you, internet goes down, I guarantee you cell phones are going to go down, too. Yeah, but... Maybe not, because they might need it. I don't know. I, I, yeah. I, 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 I mean... Who, who knows anything? Right, right. And they, they need that 5G signal. Uh. Right. That's why they're putting <laughs> it up all over. To fry our brains, don't you know? Yeah. Anyway, so um, for me, watching all this stuff going down and all the people... Yeah. All the people just complying mindlessly and... Not only that, but a lot of them out there actually begging uh, for more clampdown, for more yeah. for more tyranny, more fascism. Um, so watching that, I, I came across this article just before, early, earlier in the show here, uh, just before the show, that this, although it's a satire piece, mm -hmm. uh, is closest to the way I see everybody acting okay. than anything I've seen anywhere else. All right. From the Babylon Bee. Okay. Everyone jumps off bridge after new government order telling everyone to jump off to bridge. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is. Here it is. Okay. Uh, after state governments across the country directed their citizens to shut down their businesses and just kind of hope things worked out, a new order has been issued. Everyone is to jump off a bridge immediately. The government official that issued the order to solve our current crisis uh, or said everyone immediately complied. Everyone jump off a bridge, a representative of the government. Uh, okay, said everyone. If the government says so, it's probably a good idea. Besides, what can we do? It's the government. They definitely have the best people working on it. The directive was designed to end coronavirus. Medical experts believe it's the best, most effective way to stop the virus. Assuming everyone follows through and obeys the order, coronavirus will be wiped out, according to officials. There are no bad side effects, as far as anyone can tell. A few people pointed out that it could kill everyone. But these people are anti-science and obviously hate their neighbors. Yeah. Oh my God. Don't. Oh, don't get me started. Oh my God. <laughs> get you started. Oh my God. Get started, Boots. Get started. Okay. So, so I uh, have this neighbor. There. I better keep my voice. Down. She's kitty corner from my house. Uh -huh. right? Across the street, like kind of kitty corner, not directly across the street, kind of at an angle. It's hard to say. Hard to explain. Yeah. Yeah. I I we I live at a T intersection, like. When we back out of the driveway, we have to look down three different streets because there's like three streets intersect. So okay. it's kind of hard to explain, but she's basically kitty corner from my house across the street, right? Right. But she can see into our yard, and we don't have a fence, and we have a tie out there for the dog, you know, which we don't put him out there on it anymore because we, she called animal control on us about the dog barking, you know, yeah. even though it was a Saturday night at 9 o'clock at night. Right. Wasn't like it was super late. Wasn't like it was a weekday. It was a Saturday night at 9 o'clock, and I thought about it the other day in the shower. Every other house just about in this neighborhood has a fucking dog, okay? Right. Every other fucking house. Right. Okay? And so there's a ton of dogs in this neighborhood. 
anyway, this is beside the point. This was last July or September when she called animal control. Well, this lady is a goody two shoes, and she's one of these people that we've been complaining about for eleven years. You know, she's one of these that you know that that just falls right in line with if you see something, say something. You know, and I'm sure I can guarantee you. 911 or the cops are sick of getting her calls. Oh, sure, sure. I'm sure, you know, because she apparently has taken it upon herself to be the goddamn wannabe cop of the goddamn neighborhood, which is fine to a point. Like, obviously, if you see someone breaking into someone's house, you're going to, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If you don't know them, you know, you you see something crazy like that, yeah. Sure, sure. Sure, yeah. You know, great, call the cops, you know. But for you, I mean, and then there was two vehicles parked outside, right by her house, like on the side. like Okay. Like along the curb there, you know. We have a street, and then there's a sidewalk, there's a curb, there's a sidewalk, you know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, they were just sitting there. But this was like around April Fool's Day. What day was that? Wednesday? And uh, it yeah. was, turns out it was Zach's ex-girlfriend. And another girl. Okay. But they were just sitting out there in cards, and she called the cops about suspicious vehicles. Then she talks to me about it. She's like, I just want to let you know, um, I, there was two vehicles out here last night, and they kind of they were down there a little bit, and they moved up a little bit. And they were just sitting out there. It's kind of like they were casing the neighborhood. <laughs> okay. I'm like, okay. And I didn't think nothing of it. This was before I knew it was Zach's ex-girlfriend. Yeah. So then I just started laughing. Zach's like, no, I know who that was. He gets home. I'm like, oh, yeah, the neighbor called the cops the other night. Tonight. He's like, oh. I'm like, yeah, two strange cars up there. Oh, I know who that was. That was Kendra. She sent me a text and blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, I thought she had a new boyfriend. He's like, yeah, that's what I thought. He sent her a text saying, I thought you had a new boyfriend. (laughs) (laughs) Or something. (laughs) Then I go, no contact, Zach. What, is she stalking him? I don't think so. I think she was just trying to... Who knows? Yeah. So that's not a good... But anyway, I kind of laughed because my neighbor called the cops on them. Because I, I said, I go to Zach, I go, don't tell her that the cops were called. Because I, they might have seen the cops because as soon as the cop turned the corner or whatever, they they left. Yeah. Because the cop wasn't going to fucking talk to them, you know? Yeah. Obviously, because it's fucking neighbor call. So, right. the, you know... it. it I'm sorry, but it's great to be a vigilant person, I guess. I you guess. know, and be aware of your surroundings and be aware of your situations and, you know, keep an eye out for, you know, shit going on. But that's a, that's not a bad thing. But no. people take it too far. Oh, absolutely. They take it way too far. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, I mean, it's like, thanks a lot for me having to deal with a cop on a Saturday night at 9 o'clock. Right. You know, it's 9 o'clock on a goddamn Saturday. If a dog is out barking and it wasn't long, you know, no, that was the night that I had the window open because it was September, but it was like 80 degrees outside. Okay. Okay. And I went out to get something to eat. I was gone. He was barking out the window from inside the house. Right. And that's why she called. He wasn't outside. He was inside. Like the first time she said something to me, he was outside. It was a Saturday morning. He was like at noon. He was out there for five minutes barking. Yeah. I mean, five minutes. Okay. If I were the way I would reason I would call the cops on a dog barking would be if it was going on for hours and hours and hours and it was every day. Oh, sure, sure. You know what I mean? Obviously, that is a nuisance. Yeah. But in a neighborhood like this, seriously, they all go off at the same fucking time. One dog starts barking and they all start, you know what I mean? It's just like, even though they're not right in the same yard, you know what I mean? They can all hear each other, right? You know what I mean? It's just like, lady, there is more than one dog in this goddamn neighborhood. Across the street from me, they have a small dog that barks. Mm. Sounds a lot like Jackson. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, I was out there the other night taking Jackson out, and that dog, it was in the night. It was during the day. It was daylight out. And Jackson 
was it making a sound? And that dog over there is going ballistic because some dog's going by his house. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, see, that's not my dog. Because my dog was outside, obviously not barking, you know. Right. That dog across the street was barking. You know, I was like, oh, that's not my dog, obviously. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, I, I don't, it's, the point is, is I, I, like to, I like to let people just be. You know what I mean? Sure. Unless you're hurting me directly or you still stole something from me or you're fucking with me in some other way, but, you know, maliciously, then I will have a problem with you. Otherwise, I will not have a problem with you. Right. You know, it's like I don't need to be up all in other people's business and shit. You know what I mean? Right. If I see someone trying to break into someone's house, yeah, I'm going to do something about it. You know, I'll do something about it. But it, it, until that happens, you can, it's my point is, is you can be too paranoid. You can be too, like, overly, like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And with, it's a dangerous thing when you get people like that because they're afraid. Okay? Yeah. They're living in fear. And people like that can be very dangerous. Right. And, you know, and I was thinking today, I'm like, she's like, the, or, and it's not just her. People in general can be like, well, I'm perfect, and the way I do things is the correct way to be, so everybody <laughs> else should do the same as me, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. And that is so close-minded thinking, it's not even funny. Right. It's like, who are you? Yeah, you might be a good person and shit. Maybe, you know, hey, Maybe. Hey, lady, I haven't stole it. I don't steal. I don't murder. You know, I don't fucking tax people. Yeah. You know, I don't declare wars. I don't fucking steal. I'm not a gangbanger. I'm not, you know what I mean? I go, you know? Right. Like, but this is, I'm not the same as you. It doesn't mean I'm a bad fucking person. You know, it's just people like that just drive me fucking nuts, dude. It's I, just drives I, me fucking I crazy. Understand. It's I like understand. goody two shoes over there that's probably never been fucking laid. You know, uh, lady, my suggestion would be go get fucking laid finally. Yeah. For once in your fucking life. <laughs> and if you're not doing, if you can't do that, at least get a, a bob. Okay, at least get bob. So you can like it's kind of experience like an orgasm. Something. Which would be good, because you really pr- could probably use it. Take some acid, Just saying, lady. lady. <laughs> Just saying. Take, 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 <laughs> take, take some acid. <laughs> I told that to Zach, and that just started busting out laughing. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. But anyway, you got to laugh sometimes, right? Absolutely. you got to laugh all you the time. Not, if you're not okay. laughing, if you're not laughing. You're, <laughs> right. You're not going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> if you yeah. can't find humor in anything. In, the, in this you're, world, you're man. You're fucked to begin with. <laughs> in, in this world, if you're not laughing, you're, you're crying. And, and what, what, right. What fun know? is that? What fun is that? Right. Right. So it's like. All right. Well, yeah, you know, get out of other people's shit. Get out of their business, you know? Yeah. Right. Unless something really major is going down. Chill the fuck out. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, right. let's let's talk a little bit about this quote stimulus. Oh um, God! All un- right, unquote. <laughs> the, the, I love that word stimulus, don't you? Yeah, are you feeling stimulated? We're stimulate the economy. Are you feeling? Like giving sti- you money. All right. Uh, so here we go. This is, I got two articles. Uh, so the first okay. one comes from the Huffington Post. Believe it or not, HuffPost.com. Uh, government's two trillion, which it actually was far more than that, two trillion coronavirus response stumbles out of the gate. It might take a while for people and businesses to get financial relief. A while. A while. That's 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 relieving. That's cover. Now now, what about the banks? How 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 soon are they going to get their stimulus? Oh yeah, well. They're always stimulated. They got they got theirs the same but, fucking day. Yeah, they're always the they, first. They got they yep. got they got theirs immediately, no delay yep. whatsoever. However, the national unemployment rate, which by the way, let me sidebar for a moment on that. Yep. The national unemployment rate. They were showing yesterday uh, six point six million 
uh, yes. new unemployments. But today they came out with these numbers, 701,000 new unemployments. What? Right. <laughs> what? Which is it? <laughs> yeah, well, obviously, yesterday's numbers were right. Today's numbers are a lie. Wrong. Yeah. But, but whatever. That's just something, a little side note there. The national unemployment rate has risen faster than it has in decades, the government announced on Friday, as the Trump administration struggled to move forward with new policies to reduce economic devastation caused by them of the coronavirus pandemic. Yeah, it's not devastation of the coronavirus pandemic. It's uh, devastation of the governmental response to the supposed coronavirus pandemic. Yes. I mean, I mean, straighten out your words there, HuffPo. Um, yeah. <laughs> one week ago, Congress authorized bigger unemployment benefits, $1,200 payments to American households, and billions of dollars worth of forgivable business loans which you have to jump through a million hoops to get, uh, meant to stave off layoffs. None of those policies has taken effect to the frustration of their intended beneficiaries. The Trumpster and uh, Steve Assmunchen uh, said... <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I see when I see his name, <laughs> The so-called Paycheck Protection Program, PPP, which will allow small business owners to ask banks for government-funded loans that would cover payroll costs and be fully forgiven if the company avoids layoffs for eight weeks would launch today. But the nation's biggest bank said, yeah, we got our money. We're not going to loan any out. No, they, they, they said, we're not ready. And a half right, a dozen... Right. They, and, they did, yeah. and a half a dozen business owners told HuffPo on Friday uh, morning that they were not able to apply for the loans. They, they, yep. can't, they can't even apply. So they're no, not getting not loans. They can't even apply for the loans. It's a, it's a lot like banging your head into a wall and not getting yes. anywhere, according to Scott Cavendish, owner of a craft brewery in Gastonia, North Carolina. I know that feeling. We reached out to four separate banks, and all we get is, if you're interested, which, why else would it be calling? Put your email right. here and we'll contact you. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> yeah, right. There's a black hole for you to throw your info into. No kidding. Uh, wow. Ca Cavendish said he had already laid off nine of his 12 employees. The forgivable, wow. forgivable loans would theoretically allow him to hire them back at no cost as the government would essentially pay their salaries for eight weeks. Right. Yep, that's what they're saying. More than 10 million workers nationwide had filed for unemployment insurance benefits in the last two weeks. And the unemployment rate has risen from 3.5 to 4.4. It's actually much higher because they, they, yeah. dumped, they dumped that 10 million down to 7 point, or 701,000. Uh, the fastest increase since 1975, the Labor Department said. The early delays don't mean federal government response is totally doomed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but but rollout almost certainly won't be as smooth as people had hoped. Well, I, I could see hoping for it, but if you actually thought that you were immediately going to wind up with some money in your pocket in order to operate your business, even though you have no business, well, yeah, you're you're smoking some crack there. Um, yeah, businesses across the country are shuttered by force of yep. government by force of government to yep. reduce the spread of the so-called coronavirus, which has killed more than six thousand Americans, according to somebody, and is flooding hospitals with sick patients. Well, I, don't, I haven't seen any flu numbers this year. Is, has the flu? Oh, you're they, just they've been, they've been they're, putting they're, the numbers they're, out. They're just attributing all the flu deaths to Corona, probably, and many other types of deaths. They're attributing all the suicides, heart attacks, yes, yes, um, any kind of lung problem. Uh, any death at this time, you died of Corona. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's pretty much it. Any death that happens, they died of Corona. So the rebate checks coming to Americans will land in a bank account within weeks. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna Hang switch. on to your hats, people. It's used to I, I, I'm going to switch to the other article. <laughs> There's plenty okay. more in that, that HuffPo article. Should, 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 should you care? Oh. 
that was some stupid video on that on that article. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. From KTVN.com, two news coverage you can count on. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> you bet. Some, on you, baby. <laughs> some, some in the U.S. may not get stimulus checks until yeah, August. Yes. Until no August. Ma- no masturbation check for you. Till August. Till <laughs> August. The federal government is sending financial help to millions. Yeah, if it doesn't come until August, does that really help? Uh, but the timing of those payments no. may vary. Your results oh, yeah. may, they uh, may the, the contents of this package may have settled may during vary. the shipment. Yeah. Um, the, the federal government is sending financial help. Uh, uh, yeah. The yeah, government, we're the government, we're, we're government to the rescue. Uh, the, the government expects to begin making payments to millions under the new stimulus law in mid-April. So another we ba- expect ba- expect basically expect two, basically two weeks from now. But some right. people without direct deposit information deposit. may yep. not get checks until mid-August or later. Or later. A document from the House Ways and Means. Well, how are those people supposed to feed themselves? It, it, Go to food not, banks, right? Just because they put you out of a, a job... And made you. And you can't feed and, yourself. Like, and and, and, and there are no jobs. You can't go out there and get a job. Well, you can at Walmart. And 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 you still got all your bills rolling in. Right. Um, and you gotta <laughs> you gotta pay your your rent or mortgage. You yep. gotta pay your electric, your cable, your telephone, your yep. uh, gas, wh- whatever. Dad. All the various utilities and shit. Yeah. Your, your yeah. insurance. Eat. Your auto and home Easy. insurance. You got you got to yep. pay for those. Those are big bills. You got to still pay your property tax. Property tax. Yep. All that stuff. You still got to pay it, but you have no money and you have no way to get money. Right. So. So they're basically <laughs> fucking you up the ass without lube, like they've been doing all along. They're just fucking you harder now. A document from the House Ways and lube. Ways and Means Committee says the IRS will make about sixty million payments to Americans through direct deposit in mid-April, likely the week of April 13th. Likely. That's next week. <laughs> uh, ye, well, or no, it's, week it's, it's, yeah, it's, the fo- it's the Monday following. Yeah. Yeah, next week. Easter. The Monday yeah. following next week. Um, the, yeah. the IRS has direct deposit information for these individuals from their 2018 or 2019 tax returns. Paper checks will be issued starting... May 4th, but could take up to 20 weeks. Well, yeah, because it's through the mail. they got to do a paper check. they got to type so, it all. they got to put it in the mail. they got you know. Yeah, that just doesn't work. That just no, doesn't that's work. lame. No, um, I, 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 I think I told you, I mentioned last week that I went onto that tax Act website. Yeah. And I filled out the, the, the form, you know, whatever it is, the yes. easy file form there. Um but since I had no uh, uh, income, they right. did, they don't let you e-file. Yeah, you said that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good night, Vinny. Um, uh, so, so, um, so I printed out the things and I, I mailed them in. But I didn't ask for a direct deposit. I didn't give me direct deposit information. Uh, I know they can already steal everything out of my account if they want, but I'm not gonna. I didn't want to give them that. I said, just send me a check. God damn it. Uh, but that right. was that was before I knew this information. <laughs> Which whatever, man, uh, it's it's just it's just ridiculous that uh, it's it, this whole thing is fucking insane. It is, it is so uh, ridiculous. So, uh, anyway, so hooray, government! Now, see, this 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 is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Because people, yeah, people um, need to feed their families and themselves, and they need to pay their bills. And people need to be able to do things, and and if they can't do them, uh, this just ain't ain't gonna work. Um, okay, they're doing some certain things with the unemployment, where you can get basically uh, most of your check for a period right. a period of time via some certain thing, but you have to also meet various other certain qualifications, which I know certain people yeah. here in the chat are that have already tried looking into it. Have, are they're not going to get it 
or or it's highly unlikely <laughs> they will get it. Um, so, I mean, there's going to be millions of people, millions of people, yes, that have that have no way uh, to get to, groceries and stuff. Yeah, to support their families, they're just you know, yeah. Have, so um, th- this this is going to be a mess. It's going to be a huge. It's mess. It's going to be a mess. And that's and, why. They said the next two weeks, this is their words, are going to be very painful. Well, but they and, were they were they were talking about the Corona crap. Right, right. right. But, but th- th- I think they it's going to be painful in other ways. Yeah, yeah. Very painful for a lot of people. It already is. Right. I mean, people are freaking out, and some people are are just stupid and they're they're just like dumb. You know, they have. No clue. And some people are homeless, and they're already used to living like that. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, but like you say, these but, people But that, even, even, yeah. even those homeless, don't discount the effect on the homeless. Because right. Oh, the, yeah, they're going to be fucked up big time. Yeah, I, I, the, the homeless people uh, typically... They're going to be they're, affected big time, yeah. They're, they're, they're able to get some, you know... Uh, food, sh- food, or food shelf food and... You know, some shelters in some places, and right. You know, no. Nope. I mean, they put our homeless people at the Hobbs Ice Center because no one's using it right now. I mean, at least there's a bunch of bathrooms there. There's showers there. But I mean, even that, I mean, it's better. You know, you know uh, social uh, distancing. You know, a lot of a lot of about peop- those people. Uh, oops. Uh, also uh, depend on. Um, uh, on, on people, you know, donating, you know, giving them money because they stand out there on right. the street corners. Yeah, and, and that's, that's going to add. There's, there's nobody out there. They, can, they can't get right. any money. Right. So, nope. um, the, all, I don't know how many homeless people there are out there. But, there's going to be a lot of deaths in the homeless community. Yeah, yeah, it's going to There's going to be a lot. It's going to be bad. It's, that's going to be really bad. Okay. That's, what, that's I, I, I sadly, I predict that, but. And let's say you decide, hey, I'm going to walk down the street and I'm going to. Help out some homeless people. I got a few extra dollars. Right. Right. Well, if you live in Louisville, Kentucky, Uh-oh. <laughs> it, uh, it says ankle monitors ordered for Louisville, Kentucky residents exposed to COVID-19 who refuse to stay home. So the only way, first off, they're going to know that you were exposed is if you go to one of their testing centers and get tested. Yes. So don't, don't do, do that. that. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. No. We're both saying, don't do that. Yeah. Don't go there. Don't do that. Uh, do that. And, don't and, do and, it. And if you are, if you do, they'll they'll put a prison. You're a prisoner. They put an ankle. Yeah. Mo- they're putting an ankle monitor on you. What yeah. what have you What have you done to deserve being imprisoned? And who's to say the virus isn't on that goddamn swather shoving up your nose? Or on the ankle monitors. <laughs> right. I mean, come on, people. Do the math. Do your, right. Use your brain. So, uh, believe it or not, this article... Don't our... rely on CNN. Don't rely on CNN. Don't no, no, no. B- b- believe it or rely not. Rely on your own brain for a change. B- believe it or not, Moose, yeah. th- this article is on CNN.com. Yeah. CNN.com. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> don't use that as your only source of information. And certainly don't let them make the decision for you. Do your own research and make your own goddamn decision. Because too many people have just been going along with what they say for so long that they get, don't know their head from their ass at this point. They don't even know how to use their goddamn brain anymore. Yeah, well. So uh, yeah. don't be them. If ever <laughs> there was a time to wake up, now is the goddamn time. All right? All don't right. drag in so, your feet anymore. If you're if you're still dragging your feet, it's too late for you. Yeah, okay. yeah, it is. I mean, seriously, you're not going to handle this well. Yeah. Anyway, according and, according yeah. according to this post here, uh, Kentucky is taking severe measures to ensure residents exposed to the coronavirus stay at home. Louisville residents who have been in contact with doesn't mean you have coronavirus, right. but you've been in contact with somebody that had coronavirus but refused to isolate themselves are being made to wear ankle bracelets. Made. There's made. a keyword Forced. right there. Forced. Mandatory. You yes. must do this. A judge has ordered one resident to stay at home after refusing to self-quarantine. CNN affiliate WDRPB reports that the person identified as DL in a court order 
uh, is living with someone who has tested positive for the illness and another person who is presumptive case, uh, according to the affidavit um, from the health department. Having been exposed to the highly contagious disease, D.L. was ordered to stay at home last week. But according to family members, D.L. leaves the house whenever he goddamn well pleases, which uh, any free person should rightfully be able to do. Uh, when D.L. did not respond to health department's messages, Jefferson Circuit Court Judge Angela Bissig ordered the Department of Corrections to fit D.L. with a global positioning device for the next 14 days. If D.L. leaves the house again, he or she could be criminally charged. For doing what? For leaving the house. Does that person have coronavirus? Does, does, does this person have coronavirus? No. Oh, my God. They've been exposed to it. Well, I'll tell you what. Everybody out there walking around has been exposed to it. Right. Um, At this point, my God. <laughs> you're all fucking exposed. Uh, you, better all, you, all, you better all go sign up for your ankle bracelets because uh, you're all criminals. You're all, you need, you're prisoners. You need to be locked away because you suck. The government says so. And they are going to do bad shit to you. And I, I don't know who the Louisville Cardinals are, but apparently that's a team there. They're probably a minor league team. Oh, okay. <laughs> probably the field team or something for the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. It could, it, could, it could be anything. Who knows? Yeah. Farm team or something. Well, you know what? I... And the virus. No, really. You may think you're not, you've been exposed to a virus or you might have got a virus, but no. I am the virus. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, yeah, let me tell you, that's uh, some good stuff right there. Uh, government mule uh, was uh, with Grace Potter there uh, doing the Gold Dust Woman, the uh, the, the Fleetwood Mac song there. Uh, back at Mountain Jam, back in uh, 2010, there will be no Mountain Jam this year. Uh, it's June 4th is when that was. Uh, so anyway, good good stuff. Before that, Lucas Nelson uh, covering Paul Simon's The Sound of Silence uh, on the Quarantunes evening session. Uh, quarantunes for all you quarantiners. And we kicked it off there. And I, I know Moose Girl was not really enjoying this video, this song, but I love Killing Joke. I've been listening to Killing Joke since the 80s. Uh, and that was called I Am the Virus. I Am the Virus! Yeah, um, and, and it's got great lyrics. I, I don't know. Uh, she, she thought it was not being very... Um, creative but uh there's so much truth spilled out in that song um uh, killing joke's a really good band too by the way uh you may not enjoy them or like them but uh man i'm telling you killing joke's a good band and i am the virus is, is could not be more fitting to the to today's situation than any song out there so uh just just saying you know just saying <laughs> yeah i know i know it's uh and, and, Can you hear me yeah i hear you Oh, good, because I kind of almost had a faux pas. A faux pas. Well, my, the cord was on my lap, and I got up to quickly go do something, and uh, I forgot it was on my lap, so I almost pulled a whole fucking computer off the desk. So I, oh, my God. <laughs> it could have been bad. It could have been bad. <laughs> it would have been bad. Yeah, you got to be careful with it. It didn't happen yeah. mid-show, because usually shit like that would happen mid-show. Right. With my luck, you know. Absolutely. So, anyway, um, just want to say again, people, if you're going to use gloves, use them correctly. <laughs> that would be helpful. <laughs> okay, if you think that you can get the thing from touching things and then touching your face and you're wearing gloves and make sure that you, that doesn't happen, you guys need to make sure you're using gloves correctly. Okay. Yes. So many people out there are not doing this. Okay. Yeah. For instance, the mail guy. We no. we have a mail service, a mail like the U.S. mail service that brings our mail to our office, right? Okay. 
Well, there's a handle. First, you, there's, there's two doors that get into the building. You know, there's the outside door, and there's a little foyer, and there's another door. So there's two handles right there. Okay. Then my door for my office is like a regular doorknob, a round handle. Okay. Still, you got to turn that sucker and push it open. Okay? Yeah. So he's wearing gloves. Why, I don't know, because, dude, okay, so so I'm thinking about this when they bring the mail in on Monday, and and he's got the gloves on. So he's the one, he opens the two doors outside, then he opens our door the inside, then he comes in, he sets that mail thing down with all our mail in it. And that mail bin that they use, those get recycled through all these different companies, right? Sure. So I'm wearing gloves that day. Just be, you know, I have them at my desk or whatever. I brought a box of my to work. All right. The night trial, just clear gloves, you know, opaque, wherever the fuck they are. Anyway, they're food grade. They're, you know, they're food grade gloves or whatever. So they're multi, multi-purpose. But anyway, I'm like, dude. So I go in and I go to the girl after they leave. I go, you know what? I go, people are not using gloves correctly. And I told her the story with the male guy. I go, so he's wearing gloves. If, if he touched that bin, and let's say the bin had the virus on it, he's already touched it to bring it into the building to proceed to open one, two, three door handles and then set it down on our on our table there that we have set up there for the mail, right? Right, right. And so then he proceeds to go out our door, so he touches the inside door handle to pull the door open to leave. He touches the end. You know what I mean? You, know, you, you get my meaning here? I do. If he's got the virus on his gloves from the bin, let's say, or from anything, then he's just proceeded to put put the virus everywhere in my office. Basically. Yes, yes. On the door. <laughs> you get you get my meaning here? You get my drift here? I, I gotcha. Okay, so that's – and then I tell the girl at work, and she's like, yeah, my mom and I were talking about that same thing the other day. Because we were at Woodman's, and she's like, all these people are wearing gloves, but then they go, and they get in their car, and they open their door, and I'm like, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> if they have them, they should have taken their gloves off before they open their door handle. But then people go so far as, well, when I get home, i got to put gloves on to unload the groceries, and some people are even going as far as sanitizing the groceries, you know, mm-hmm. putting them, setting them down on one spot. And sat washing them or sanitizing them, however you do it, the packaging or whatever, and then sending them down in the clean spots. It's like people are going pretty germaphobic on this one. I'm just saying. I mean, yeah, like you said, you didn't really change your your way of doing things. I have You're not still changed. not using hand sanitizer. You're just doing the normal hand washing routine that you always done, right? Right. Yeah, which. So maybe I, I am being a little bit more paranoid, you know what I mean? But because I've always been like a germaphobe, my kids have always said that. Like if we go out to a restaurant or something, which might never happen again. Mm-hmm. Um, again. They, I always I <laughs> wait for them to open the door. I make them open. It. <laughs> They're like, yeah. "What, mom? You want to wash your hands? It, before it, we it, it, you want to go to the restroom to wash your hands before the food comes?" I'm like, "Exactly." <laughs> yeah, you don't touch that. You know. You know. And then I won't eat the peanuts. Like, if we go to Texas Roadhouse, yeah. I will not eat them peanuts. Why? What's wrong with the peanuts? They're sitting out in the lobby. Like, they have a big bin of the peanuts, you know? Oh, like okay, okay, okay. In, in the shell. They're in yeah. the shell, but still. You don't know how many people have coughed on there. Yeah. You, don't know, you know what I mean? Little kids with their hands in there. It's like, ooh, gross, grody, right? <laughs> wait, wait. And then, wait, Cow- Cowboy Tech is saying... Some people go so far as to say which foot you should go through a doorway with. Well, first. I even saw, yeah, I even saw something where well, they were well, saying, well, don't walk in with your shoes on. Keep your outside, you have two different sets of shoes, outside shoes and inside shoes. Because the outside shoes, the virus can be on your shoes for up to five days. That's what I heard. Well, why, why would it, wait? Why, why would it matter which foot you went through the door? It doesn't with? matter which foot, but it matters that I heard a different take on it. <laughs> right. Which the yeah yeah it's craziness. And some of this, they say keep your outside shoes outside, and then have a pair of shoes for when you get in the house that don't go outside. 
Right. Which I do that anyway. Like, I don't like wearing just socks or being barefoot Religion. in my house. So oh, I always have, like, indoor shoes. I always have indoor. But, I mean, these Crocs that I'm wearing. Yeah. I take, when I am when I have them on, when I'm just at home, I'm not going to be going to work or anything. Right. I take the dog outside of these. I walk outside. You know, they're plastic. You know, I can go outside of these. You know what I mean? Ah. I don't, yeah, okay. I don't change, so I wear them a little bit outside, too. They're not just strictly inside shoes. You know what I'm saying? I see. I see. Oh, superstition. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yes, very, uh, yeah, well, very. Some of those superstitions get a little bit fucking crazy, you know? Very superstitious. <laughs> well, you know, the thing that I, speaking of invisible, and even Trump has said, even the people in government have said, this is an invisible enemy. Right, they're all parroting this that. Is war, this is like a, being at war against an invisible enemy. Yeah. And then, so it, it kind of like if you think about it, you're like, okay, that's why people are freaking out because they're they're freaking out about germs. Well, it's the thing is, you can't see germs. The, the germs you cannot not, see them the, with the, the naked eye. The germs not the enemy. It's it's the government. No, it is not. The it's governments correct. are the that's enemy. What I'm that, that's my point. It, 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 the tyranny. The germs have always been there, people. Like, okay, you, when this first thing broke or whatever. Then you had some dumbasses uh, licking toilets, okay? Mm-hmm. And you had some other people licking metal on the subway and shit. Yeah. It's like, are you... In, even before this, would you ever do that? Would you ever fucking do... Would anybody in their, anybody in their right mind do that? Uh, no. No. <laughs> they would not. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> I would not be going around, you know, if I go to the zoo or even before when I went shopping at Walmart, uh-huh. the first thing I would do is usually pee and then wash my hands really good right after. Because I was at Walmart. You know what I mean? Right. Why is my dog barking? What the fuck? I, I don't I don't know. Anyway, he, he usually sometimes barks. He hears something outside. Yeah. Okay. But... My point is... Aren't, your boy, like you aren't the boys saying, there? Have, Wait, aren't, aren't the boys there? They are. Well, tell them to take They're care of the, the dog. They're not in the same room. Zach's upstairs, Matt's downstairs. They're not in the same room. They, they can still take care They're of the dog. They're not around. All right. He's, just, he's barking at something he hears outside. I don't know. There's a vehicle out there or something. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully it's not a fucking cop. <laughs> Oh my God! I don't know. You don't. You don't know. You got freaky ass neighbors, and you got. You don't. You know, paranoid neighbors. I got to mute. I'll go see what's going on. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, Matt's coming up. Okay, great. All right. Well, up. all right, great. So let me. Let me Sorry, Graham. Sorry. Uh, that's all right, Moose. I was just wondering. I what's out there, Matt? Is there something out there that he's making him bark? Okay. All right. Okay. My God, that was weird. <laughs> Okay, let's cover some more tyranny and idiocy. Okay. Tyranny and idiocy. Idiocy. Yeah, that's what's Oh, going they on. go hand in hand. But this this is a combination of both tyranny and idiocy. From Breitbart.com. Teachers unions pressure states to clamp down on virtual charter schools during pandemic. What? I the, thought they're all supposed to be homeschooling and doing online now. Yeah, but they don't want they don't want the the the, the charter schools doing the virtual uh, education. Well, because they're not. Well, because public. they they realize that the kids will never come back to their schools exactly. once they once <laughs> once they've been once they've been part of a, a charter school and since the charter school uh, oh. does such a much better job at education than the than the normal oh, of course normal public schools the teachers unions are freaking out. So it says teachers un- unions historically at odds with publicly funded charter schools that are privately operated are pressuring states into clamping down on virtual charter schools that are continuing to provide children with instruction at home during school closures caused by uh, caused by the government's reaction to the coronavirus yeah. outbreak. Um, they they always just say by the coronavirus outbreak, but that's obviously right. nonsense. Uh, Oregon Connections Academy uh, K through 12 online public school supported by digital learning giant Pearson posts the on the enrollment page of its website 
that due to Government Kate Brown's executive order, as of March 27th, no Oregon public school students may withdraw or enroll. What? So you can't, okay, that's fucking tyranny. You can't withdraw from the public school. And in, 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 oh, in, in any schools during the school closure uh, due to the, the fake uh, I mean the uh, oh my God. The, the clampdown, <laughs> the plandemic. Yes, the plandemic, uh, the faux demic. All right. Yes. On March twenty sixth, uh, Willabet Week reported uh, the Oregon Department of Education closed the state's online charter schools under Governor Kate Brown order to close public schools to halt the spread of COVID nineteen. The report continued that online public charter schools were required by the governor's order to stop providing regular instruction to their online students because brick-and-mortar public schools had to close to prevent the spread of infection caused by... Okay. These are online schools. Right. This is the job that they do. Yeah. Why are they stopping them from... Providing instruction to their students. <laughs> this is this is a total freak out on their yeah. end. This this, this is uh, oh big time. Uh, they, these nasty school teachers unions, and they are nasty, uh, nasty yeah. group of people. Let me tell yeah, you, they are. Um, uh, they, they 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 will do whatever they can That's in, in order to to protect themselves so that. They don't lose students to these charter schools. I tell you what, I am so glad that my I do not have kids in school in uh, K through twelve right now. Yeah, I'm so glad about that. Or even like, if they, we, even we, if they we were, missed, we missed, we dodged a bullet there, dude. E even if they were in college, you know. Right. They, oh, well, they're not now. All right. Right. So, I mean, I'm. I, you know, I. Uh, it's just um, it, it, college was way too expensive anyway. It, you know, and it should have been online only a long time ago. Right? Why make these kids pay for so much to room and board, and they don't? You know what I mean? They gotta sign up for these meal plans that are overly expensive. They gotta sign up for these dorm rooms, where are overly expensive, and. You know, yeah, you get that campus experience, but basically that means you get the party. Right. I mean, they're going to party regardless. Yeah, yeah. People party. Adults party. That's what people do. Sure. People do that. I yeah. mean, you're not going to stop partying. You, you, you're not going to stop that from happening. No, you're not. And it, for for the, the, the student loan debt has been out of control for so fucking long and everyone's starting to see it for the bullshit that it is because it's all it is is a big money trap. Mm -hmm. And you got these kids graduating from colleges that are a hundred grand in debt. I right. Mean, you're gonna start your life basically your post education life being a hundred grand in fucking debt. That is stupid. Absolutely. That is stupid. You're gonna work your whole life paying that shit off. So anyway, uh, Cowboy you know, Tech. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's ridiculous. It's... Cowboy Tech ask, asks the question: Should government regulate education, or no. should we? Um, I say each individual parent should reg regulate their child's education. Yes. And if that means sending them to a school they approve of, uh, be that a public school or a, a charter school, or just doing the uh, schooling themselves at home, that right. should be up to that parent and to right. nobody else. Nobody else. Exactly. So. But they, they once, okay, the problem is, and we, if you want to get really technical about it, just a little brief, you know, okay, so in my case, I was not, I had my, I had, was, had, had twins. So my pregnancy was considered high risk. So I had, I didn't have a, a what are they called? medulla or whatever they call it. What? That's part you of know, your brain. A midwife. A midwife. Oh. <laughs> doula. A doula. 
A dual, not a because not, a, my, a, not a mud dual. Yeah, because it was a high risk pregnancy because I had to have a C section because it was twins. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I had no choice but to go to a hospital to have right. them. This was right. nineteen years ago. Right. Over nineteen, almost twenty now. Anyway, I was not able to leave that there that facility until I filled out the government paperwork for those two kids. Right. You had right? to sign over. You had to sign over ownership. I had to fucking make sure I signed them up for a social security number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to make sure I filled up the birth certificate information. All right. Which basically right there, you're correct. What did you say, Graham? You had to sign over ownership. Exactly. The, those kids. Just like are, my parents did before that. Right. Before me. Yeah, sure, with me. Sure. Yeah. Because they're, they're they, would, stock. they would not let you leave there, Grim. They they are a stock on Standard and Poor's. And yes. they're they're listed there. Their value is listed there. Just like <laughs> every other baby that's been born then and since then. Right, in a hospital, right. Yep. There are still some places where people don't. And even that. without a hospital, let's say I did have a birth at home birth. You know, let's say it wasn't high risk and I had a home birth like my friends have done, right? Yeah. They still go to the doctor. They still bring their kid to the doctor. They still got their, the kids the vaccination. right. You know what I mean? I mean, they're being doing a natural birth, but yet they're turning around and not being natural by going to a regular pediatrician that's going to give them the the, the humanizations that are quote unquote recommended. Right. Like, and that's another thing I dodged a bullet with these two is uh, 20 years ago, the vaccine that was like just before they started bringing all this other all these new vaccines and all started fucking with the vaccines big time. Yeah. I I mean I dodged a bullet there too. Sure, sure, sure. I did, and I told them that, and I told Zach and I got I that was watching a video of this Australian guy, and apparently his his YouTube video got removed, but he, he goes. He goes, well, this is my history. I'm a, I've been studying immunology. I'm an immunologist, whatever they call it. I'm this and that. You know, what? he was just saying that. Like, Zach's like, well, how do we know he's credible? I'm like, it don't really matter if he is or not. I mean. <laughs> no, it doesn't. He, he doesn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. His point was, you cannot get a virus unless it's injected into you. Yeah. So through all his studies that he's done, he determined that there's no way in fucking hell you get it from the air. Yeah. I, I don't you really only know. You fucking get it if it's been injected into you. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not familiar with all the various ways it can be transmitted. Right. But, uh, but so what he's basically saying is what they're telling you about touching it and breathing it in is bullshit. Right. So but basically it, it might be, the people that are dying might be the ones that got the flu shot. Absolutely, you know yeah, yeah. Because they put it into them. Sure. Or they were one of these people that went to a testing facility, and guess what was on that swab that they stuck up your fucking nose? All right, here's and a little. In the back of your throat. Guess what was on that swab? Here's, here's a little corona for you. Here's some virus, bitch. <laughs> Thanks for coming and getting, quote, unquote, tested. Yeah. Dumb fuck. All right, on this next article. Do you really trust them? No, I don't trust them. Do you trust them? I I, don't. I I don't don't trust them as far as I can throw them. Right. Yeah, no. They're non-trustable. So why would you fucking trust them? Why would you think that everything's on the up and up? And, oh, I got to go get tested because I have a fever. Do you know how ridiculous that is? Uh, It's crazy. It's utterly ridiculous. It's crazy. A fever... In fact, a fever is the body's way of fighting an infection. Sure. They treat a fever as it's a bad thing. Yes, it can be a bad thing if it gets over a certain temperature. Yeah. Then you have a raging infection that you've ignored for a long time, or, or you're in sepsis or something. Right. You no, know, if your fever, if you've got a temperature of 106, you're burning up literally inside. Yeah. Oh, your yeah. organs are fucking going to boil oh, yeah. almost at that point. Sure, and that's, sure. that is bad. At that point, you're fucked. Yep. The infection has got you. The fever didn't work. But the fever's normal job in the human body is to fight infection. People yeah. fucking, they, they think, oh, you got a fever. Got to take something to bring that down right away. 
It's like the only time you really have to bring a fever down is if it gets way out of control. Right. If it's well, way yeah. high, 102. Once it gets to be like 102, 103, they start getting worried. Okay. Yeah. So like this ain't good. Yeah. You know, then once it gets to like 106, then they're really worried. They're yeah. like, let's go. You know what I mean? But before it gets to that extreme point, that fever is there to fight the infection that's in the body. Sure. People are, they don't realize that. And it's like, but yeah. no, but how I tech. Yeah. So what you do if you're at home and someone gets a huge fever, like they did back in the day when they didn't have hospitals to go to and shit, what would they do? They put you in cold bath of water. They dump you in a fucking river to cool your ass off. Yeah. I mean, it was, it's common sense. Yeah. But people are, they, they, they haven't been taught certain things. They haven't been taught a lot of things. It's like, okay, so technology happened and, you know, farming slowed down and people started going to office buildings to work and started living in cities and not living off the land. And they lost all this, all this knowledge in one generation or two. Mm-hmm. You know, you ask your, if you have great grandparents still alive or grandparents still alive, ask them. If you're lucky enough to have anybody alive that's in their 80s, ask them how it was. If they lived on a farm or whatever. Seriously, you we we have been so fucking coddled and and pussified, really, that most people are like, oh, I don't know how to fucking cook. Like, I I wouldn't know how to start a fire. I wouldn't know. How to, it's like what? Yeah. Where have you been living under a fucking rock? <laughs> are you that fucking materialistic and fucking dumb? Probably. Yeah, you cannot think for yourself. You, you yeah, just just look at the average people out there, man. There's, I know look at dude. These, these people begging for tyranny. It's like, oh my god, people! It's so, yeah. You become so dependent on technology, on the government, on not me. You know, I mean, I've try, I avoid as much as I fucking can, but I still do the game. We've been talking about that for years too. Right. You know, I still go get the driver's license. I still get the goddamn license plate tab sticker. You know, I still do that shit. Sure. You know, like, you know, and then I hate when people say, though, we allowed this to, yes, we did in a way we allowed this to happen, but a lot of it was just forced upon us. Like, we were blindsided. People don't didn't know back in the 60s or 50s that when you filled out that paperwork what you were really doing they didn't know they were lied to right all of this shit was done under false pretenses oh yeah absolutely fucking bullshit false yep. control yep you know false false slavery you're signing up the you know now now we got you right and any kids you have you know we got them too oh yeah <laughs> so if they need to have a social security number Oh boy, it's insane. It is. It is. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move to okay, the next article. Sorry, yeah. that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. You know how I can get. Yeah, I do. I do. I enjoy it. <laughs> um, okay, so you know, I'm gonna give you a headline here, and you tell me approximately when this came out. Okay. United Nations proposes new global currency. I'm gonna say that article is from about. 2000? Actually, 2009. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Okay. But, but it's being brought back up now. Uh, I know it is. Dur during this situation. So, uh, yeah, it says the UN would like to like the euro, the dollar, the yen, and other national currencies to be succeeded by a new global currency. The recommendation appears in the UN report released that week back in 2009. Uh, which was during the previous financial disruption, I'll say, um, <laughs> which suggests the dollar's outsized role in international finance has ended. Well, here we are 11 years later, it's still going. And says that it's time to invent a successor currency that would be managed by the Global Reserve Bank. Do you think they're working on this right now? 
Oh, yeah. It's think, not been working on it for a while. I, I know, but do you think they're working on implementing this? Yeah, oh, the SDRs, yeah. is right, oh, the, uh, the special drawing rights, the SDRs. Yes. From, yes. From that. So, um, anyway, I, I just found it That's, amusing. We've been talking about that for a long time. We've been oh, sure, about sure. They want a one world currency. Yeah, we've yeah. We've been saying that for a long time. Oh, yeah. We, we've been talking about it, but uh, I'm just thinking that, uh, I mean, this is the opportune time. Uh, oh, big time. For, for, this, is a, this is it, people. For, for I don't know if anybody in. recognizes the fact, but if as many people are dead that they say, I mean, how many died in three nine one one? Three thousand? Yeah. I mean, if they're saying, I mean, come on, six thousand people dead in the U.S. At least. At least. <laughs> All right. And, and however many on their deathbed, and you it's know, just, supposedly, supposedly, supposedly. And it's just the beginning. All right. Um. Well, they said the next two weeks are going to be painful. That really made me cringe a little bit. Oh sure. Because I'm like, okay. So when 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 does that mean? Uh, you know? uh, 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 when when do you think they will end the lockdown? I don't see an end to it at this point. Okay. I don't. I I I feel sad about that because it's like. If they're going to use this to the, I mean, already they're fucked. They fucked the economy. All these people, like we talked about, all these people are out of work. Uh huh. You know, they're going to go make them get jobs at Walmart because that's the only places where they're hiring is Walmart and a few other places, Amazon, Dollar General. Okay. They're going to go ahead yeah, and work yeah. at them places because those, those places, and it's, that's only if you're a non criminal and you, you meet the criteria. Right. Otherwise, so, you're gonna be fucked, dude. So, so you're you, fucked, you, fucked, fucked. Yeah, you know who this? You know who this Dr. Fauci is? Fauci. Whatever. Yeah. I say Fauci. F A U X C I. Okay. According to Fauci, he says the United States will not come out of lockdown until there are no new cases of coronavirus. No Which new case. Which basically means never. Never. So that means things can unleash now. That means never. Because that means never. Because even if there was a coronavirus, yep. um, at they're, they're going to still they're going to continue back next year. What are you going to do? Yep. You're going to restart everything, and then in September, when you, when somebody gets a case, you're going to shut it all back shut down. Uh, yeah, well, no, what what the hell? Well, what, what, what is this? That means forever locked down, forever. Uh, forever locked down forever. Uh, according to this, uh, this came out uh, yesterday. Uh, so he, it says, according to yesterday's uh, briefing, <laughs> Fauci, who has become the face of America's response, oh, what a horrible thing that is, to the <laughs> coronavirus, was asked by a reporter whether social distancing measures will be imposed until there is a drug or vaccine to treat COVID-19. He says... I think if we get to the part of the curve that Dr. Burks showed yesterday, uh, when it goes down to essentially no new cases, no new deaths at a period of time, I think it makes sense that you will have to relax social distancing. It makes sense that you will have to. Not that they want to. Not yeah. that they they would agree with that. But you will have to. Oh, the poor them uh, not having right. everybody locked into their homes forever and ever. And then you don't want to know, really, what they will do to you if you don't comply. Well, we do know that other they'll places... Say, well, they'll either... Well, the worst case scenario, they'll fucking kill your ass right on the spot. Right. Well, that's maybe not the worst case scenario. That could be a best case scenario, because they might send you somewhere <laughs> that you don't want to fucking be, yeah. you know. So, uh, but but that, that means that's, that's an, that's an endless thing. No new right. cases. That's until there are no new cases. That means forever and forever. ever and yep. ever. Uh, no, this is this is a big thing that's going on. Yeah. For sure. This is this is pull they pull the plug on some shit. Right. This is they pull the plug on some drain. That's what this, they're doing. It is. And they not are. to compare to drain the swamp, but that's that's mild compared to what's going on right now. Yeah. They're fucking draining the goddamn fucking Pacific Ocean right now. 
All right. There's, this ain't no swamp. No, it is not. All right. Well, we're going to kick off some music here. All right. We're going to start with a Moose Girl double request. Woohoo! Woohoo! This is this my is, lucky day. This is a video you had requested previously at some point. And then, they have lucky days here and there. Every, one, every once in a while, Blind Squirrel finds a nut, right? That's right. And sometimes Blind Squirrels are nuts. All yeah, right. Sometimes. All right. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Kate request there. Um, it's a parody of Super Califragilistic Expialidocious, and it's Super Bad Transmittable Contagious Awful Virus. <laughs> oh, nice one, Kate. Uh, before that, uh, Metallica, the Unforgiven, from Hamburg, Germany. Uh, back in 2018, they just released that video, however, about a week, a little over a week ago. And we kicked it off there with a Moose Girl request. Gary Clark Jr., when my train pulls in, jam in the van! Yeah! <laughs> Super bad transmittable, contagious, awful virus. Ah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay, I just thought of something. All right. I'm going to issue a challenge to the RLM chat room. Okay, uh, okay. so I got this idea inspired by my friend Joel Scarpolino, who started a Facebook page called Live Stream Cover Challenge. And Live... I, maybe I'll even do this further, but I'm just going to start our RLM, okay? Uh -huh. How you guys respond? Just let me know. Just hear me out. So he started this thing on Facebook where musicians can live stream songs while they're all laid off and out of work, right? Right. I mean, there's like 30,000 members, and he started like two weeks ago. Okay. And so it's been really great. And he's had like article, you know, phone interviews on the radio, different radio stations have interviewed him because of this. I mean, local because he's in Minneapolis. So he's from Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota. But anyway, people from all over the country have joined this thing now. You all know? Right. All right. Anyway, it's really cool. So my idea is, okay, so there's this meme going out of this thing that if you type your name and then apocalyptic con costume, You'll get these images that come up on Google that are supposedly your apocalyptic costume or your your body armor or whatever you want to call it, right? Right. But, okay, so my idea is I challenge all the RLM or chatters to come up with a, a post-apocalyptic apocalyptic, uh, Mad Max, Thunderdome, whatever you want, whatever you, you want to do. Be creative as hell. I don't care. Like, I want to do a challenge that when you get your, your costume together, and you can include weapons, you can be as creative as you want. The rules are very loose. You can be funny if you want. I don't care. But I think it would be fun for all of us to just take items from, like, around your home that you already have and come up with your, like, if you had to right now today, fight off fucking zombies or something or the world it was a, the the actual apocalypse and it was like Mad Max or something uh -huh. what would you put you had to, you have an hour to put it together let's say you know okay. you know this shit's coming down there's, you know, there's people coming to do bad shit to you you need to defend yourself defend your family how are you going to look what are you going to use as your body armor what's your costume and I hate the word costume what's your uniform look like <laughs> your post-apocalyptic uniform right and then so how we're going to do this is we're going to have a spot where like people can email the images or just post them in the chat room mm -hmm. and we can do like a voting thing it doesn't really have to be a voting thing it can just be it doesn't even have to be a voting thing it can just be let's do this or you know just for shits and giggles right here you know just so that's why i call it a challenge that's why I call it. It's not really a contest. It's more of a challenge. Okay. Or just like a curiosity too. I'm curious to see how creative people can be and how you know what I mean. Right. But the only rule is that it has to be stuff you already have around the house. Like you don't need to go out and buy a special shit. Like if it if it came down where the shit hit the fan, and and you had an hour to do it to to, to make sure you got you know enough body armor to survive whatever's coming your way. That, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Be a bit grim. Um. You don't like it? No, I like it. I just, I don't okay. know. I'm just <laughs> saying, you, like you know, the stuff that I have, I, I don't know. Um. No, even, I mean, make be fun with it, though. Like, you could even, like, take it from a movie. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, the real thing. Oh, it's it can not, be, like, it's, fake, well, you know what I mean? Like, oh, okay. It could be, like. It could be like me in my bathroom with, with my cup of coffee and you know, my glasses on or something. You know what I mean? If yeah. you want to be funny, uh, this is me in the post box. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Like I'm talking about being creative or whatever. Sure. I mean, I, it's just an idea. Okay. I mean, it doesn't have to be a big thing. It just be like a for fun thing. You know okay. what I mean? So, and and did you uh, did you think of something? Well, I have this vintage, this is literally a vintage motorcycle helmet from like the 70s uh -huh. in the garage, and I, I've, I've held on to it forever because it fits my head, and it's vintage, and it's black, and, the, and it's got gold stars on it. Okay. It's totally vintage, dude, and that would be like my battle like helmet for now. Like I might have to improvise and put like some metal on there or something, uh -huh. but for sure, that would protect my head. You know, and it would—I mean, it wouldn't stop certain bullets, but it would slow them down. Yeah, I, I have a motor. I have you know a motor. I mean, plus, if I was riding, it had to be like on some vehicle, and I like I fell off the vehicle, it would protect my head from a brain injury. Uh huh. You know, I mean, it's good to have head protection. You got to have good head protection. You know. Sure. Because yeah, if you get shot in the head, you're pretty much done. Yeah, I, I have a motocross helmet. Um. Okay. There you go. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it may protect against a blow from a bat or something like that. But right, but not a bullet. No. No. So then that's what I'm saying. You got to improvise. Like put some fucking goddamn stain or fucking heavy metal up there and shit. Like a like a wired apparatus to it or screw an apparatus to it that like protects from bullets, like mm -hmm. deflects bullets. Like Kevlar. If you could get Kevlar, that would be the best. Probably. Right? Yeah. Yeah. What else can repel bullets? Uh, it has to be a certain uh, width or whatever. Su of, right? su Superman's cape. <laughs> <laughs> That's from a Jim Croce song. Yeah. From uh, yeah. You Don't Mess Around with Jim. Yes. Yeah. I know that song. <laughs> Good reference. A lot of people, like, we're old, so we get that one. But a lot of people that listen, they're going to be like, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I have I have a lot I'm of... Just saying, oh, go ahead. I, I, I have a lot of, uh, you know, I got heavy boats. I've got military gear. Uh, there you go. You know, goggles. Put all and, that shit on and get all geared up and take a picture of yourself. And I've got, and I've got machetes and baseball bats and a shotgun. See, there you go. I was going to say, you know, what we could also do is you could just, if you didn't want to do the costume or the, the your body armor picture, you could just do your weapons, what weapons you would choose. Yeah. Using yeah. things that are just around your house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, a fork could be a weapon. For crying yeah, for it long. could be. If you really wanted be. it to be. <laughs> you know? it could, be, could be. I mean, come on. You know, <laughs> like you said, baseball bat, machete. You know. Yeah, yeah. All those things are good things to have, though. Oh yeah. Like I mean, I have bought random. I got a chainsaw. Yeah, oh, I got a little chainsaw. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, you could you could tear course, up some zombies with goddamn chainsaw. Of course, of course, mine's electric, so I can only go to like a hundred feet. You know. <laughs> mine's gas, but it's a little mini one. Like the blade on it's like sixteen, twelve inches or fourteen or something. I don't know. It's a little mini one, but you know, it could it could hurt a zombie. And it could definitely take out a few zombies along the way. I, I got a nice weed if whacker. If I had gas, see, that's the thing. You got to have gas. I, I, have, I, have, I have a nice weed whacker I could get them with. There you go. A weed <laughs> whacker. That would be a creative fucking tool, weapon. I like that. I like the weed whip. You could attach something sharp to it. Well, I, I, have, the, I have the grass gator. Like knife pips or something. I, I have the grass gator that has metal blades. Oh, there you go. Oh, they're perfect. Yeah. It's already set up. Oh, yeah. yeah, metal, yeah. yeah it'll, it'll go through, a you know, a nice, a nice, uh, uh, branch. 
<laughs> there you go, you know. Hey, you got to be creative here, people, you yeah. know. Creativity oh, yeah. is key, you know. Start using, like I said, start using your brain. Start getting those creative juices flowing. That's right. You can use the battery, the, the battery-powered electric ones. Yeah, but then you got to charge the battery. And that, oh, you know, yeah, if you yeah. can't charge the battery, you're fucked if there's no electricity. Oh, the same thing with gas, though, right? You know? We're talking apocalyptic here, dude. We're I know, talking, you're, you're talking no, about... no, no, no gas. Like, we're talking like The Walking Dead here. You know? Okay. Like, yeah. They just give us a little solar charger. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, no. So, so, make, sure, make sure to get one now so you have it. You know what I mean? And then they don't, you don't even need a little one. They have these bigger ones now you can get. But you got to have the plug in, you know. Yeah, well, it's, like you said, solar charger, so. Exactly. Yeah, you'll be all right. See, there you go. Start thinking. Like, get the creative juices flowing, people. That's uh, what you do. Got, you don't I, just wallow in misery and keep watching fucking mindless media and telling you bullshit. You fucking get the creative juices flowing and go, what if this ha- were to happen? What if that were to happen? Yeah. What if that were to happen? Yeah. Then see, we'll, see, you know, I, 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 I come on here on this show or on, or on Leftovers, and, and I talk about this, this goofball thing, this virus. I, I don't I don't know if it exists or not. I I don't I don't really believe um I mean I mean there's plenty of viruses out there. So I, I can't say whether yeah. this is a brand new one just sprung up out of nowhere and they have no idea. Right. I can't say that it's absolutely created in a lab and not natural. I can't say that. Um but but uh I you know, I have my beliefs and and things and uh, the problem is still, regardless, even if this virus was going to kill 20% of the people on the planet, which it's not even close, it's nowhere near that, but let's just say it was going to kill 20% of the people on the planet, I would rather have that in a normal world where people are still out there doing their business than what we have here now. The, yeah. the, this, this is absolutely freaking nonsense. Yeah, it is. I, I, this, this, this cannot go on. People. What they're doing this, to people is not cool. So something, something, this, something horrible is going to come out of this. Yes. If they continue okay. on, if they continue on thinking, the way they are. They're thinking of something. And, and it doesn't look like they've got any plans on changing uh, no. what, what they're doing. It, it, it's horrible. Um, it is. It's, it's really not good. Now, now no. I, talked, I talked a little bit earlier about the, uh, uh, the UN what, uh, trying to create or the World yep. Bank. Uh, trying to create a global currency, but that was like 11 years ago. Right. Okay, this is from yesterday. Okay. United Nation wants a 10% global tax to pay for a new shared responsibility program to yeah. address coronavirus pandemic. I saw that. They want 10% from everybody in the world to pay for this coronavirus nonsense. <laughs> Ten percent of the of the global what? you can't get blood out of a fucking turnip, dude. Ten percent of the are out of ten, work. They're not making money. Ten percent from nothing is nothing. Ten percent of the global GDP. That's what they want. Oh, that's, well, okay. Yeah. Never mind. I thought you were talking individually. Yeah. Anyway, this is on GatewayPundit.com. It says, like the American left, the globalists never let a crisis pass without attempting a power grab. The WHO, the, w, the WHO, the WHO, lied about the seriousness of the global uh, coronavirus pandemic. So WHO praised China despite their continued lying. And WHO leader Tedros, whatever, I can't say his name, uh, yeah. then later created an in- international panic and global depression when he overstated the mortality rate of the COVID-19 pandemic. Facts be damned. Wow. <laughs> now the WHO's sister organization, the UN, believes they they should be paid more after the pandemic. They want more power and more cash, a lot more power and cash. Uh, Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez, I guess that's how you say his name, announced his shared responsibility, global solidarity, solidarity. That's a communist word, just get you to know. Uh, plan, plan this week. 
<laughs> oh, where does it go here? Uh, the United Nations uh, has announced the creation of a fund for addressing the global ca uh, coronavirus pandemic, and he is simultaneously asking nations to contribute the equivalent of at least 10% of the annual income of the entire planet to a massive, human-centered, innovative, and coordinated stimulus package that would be administered at the international level. Although Gutierrez doesn't state explicitly, he seems to be connecting the new fund, which he calls the Dedicated COVID-19 Response and Recovery Fund, with the massive stimulus package plan, announcing both measures in the same press release. If countries were to accept this plan, the UN or some similar coordinating agency would be given the equivalent of approximately 8.7 trillion U.S. trillion U.S. dollars, an unprecedented amount that would be 2,900 times greater than the U.N.'s annual budget of 3 billion U.S. dollars. The proposed plan would effectively place the global agency, presumably the UN itself, in charge of propping up the economies of the world during the coronavirus crisis and placing it in charge of 10% of global income. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> hey, but how long have we been talking about Agenda 21? That's a UN deal. How long have I been talking about Codex Alimentarius, which was the UN UN food plan, which ended up having all these people be being sick on di with diabetes and being obese, and then the, not to mention the starvation in all the third world countries that happened. You know, we're talking genocide here, people. Right, right. This is genocide, and it's been going on for a long time. It's just hitting our shores now. Sure. Because basically, that's what's been going on for a long time. The cancer treatment hasn't got better, even though there is there's more there's so many better cures out there than chemo and radiation. Right. Look, they did chemo and radiation back in the seventies, they're still doing it now. Yeah. It doesn't work. It killed my grandfather in the seventies, it killed my best friend in the you know, five years ago. Right. Same archaic treatment. How many years in, in span? Wake up, people. Fucking A. Yeah. Wake up. We've been talking about that cancer shit for 11 goddamn years. Yes, we have. With the treatment and how archaic and barbaric it is. Yeah, all, all you need you is know, baking soda. Work. It might work for some cancers. That's how they keep you going with it. All, you, all, you, all you need is baking soda. Anyway, um, right. <laughs> I talked about You've the been math. doing that for years, too. Yes, I have. Or, and plus, a healthy diet. Not eating all this processed shit all the time. Yeah. You know, healthy diet and moving around a little bit, you know, not eating shit and then getting a little bit of exercise. It's not too much to ask. And being a, don't use a, 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 a deodorant that has aluminum in it. Right. You know, don't fucking put heavy metals purposely into your body. Why would you fucking do that? It's crazy, isn't it? You know, get fucking, get a grip and learn shit. Don't just rely on fucking other people to give you your answers in life. Yeah. You have to take the bull by the fucking horns because it's only up to you. Your health is on you. Right. Your health is not on anybody else but you. Exactly. Whatever choice you decide to take, be it go to one of these fucking doctors or do something else, is up to you. Yep. There's no rule book that says you have to do their treatment. There is not. There isn't. But we've all been fucked, and they're thinking that that's the only way. No, it is not yeah. the only way. Okay, um, let, me, let me cover these two things real quick here. Okay. Um, I talked about the uh, masks earlier and what they're doing and such, but uh, here it is from Infowars.com. Uh, Texas town clamps down, wear a mask in public, or face fines or arrests. This is tyranny. This is the fourth right. This is no different than being a Jew in 1942 in Europe. In in Germany, in Berlin. All right. Germany. Uh, residents, yeah, residents who don't comply Berlin. could face a fine of $1,000, uh, and punishment could include incarceration. 
So the border town of Laredo, Texas, has announced all citizens must wear perfect, protective face mask while out in public or face a fine. Must um, to, is a mandatory word that means you must do it or you will have consequences. Right. Uh, the new yep. order forces Laredo winds to begin wearing protective face masks or nose-to-mouth covers that include any type of fabric scarf or bandana. So you're okay there on that, but they are just, if you go out in public and you're not dressed with one of these things, a face mask of some sort, which pr previous to all this, if you did wear a mask in, in public, they would arrest you. Now, they say you have to or we'll arrest you. Uh, however, if, you, if, if you're out there and you want to get a decent, a good mask, and you go on to, um, oh, is this the right one? What happened there? It, oh, I think I, I think I skipped the Amazon one. Amazon has uh, as, as, as prevented uh, uh, is a public from buying face masks now. Oh, um, okay. The, but this oh, is the one. Uh, America could import countless more face masks if the federal regulators would get out of the way. Uh, markets are trying to meet spiking demand for face masks, but importers are stymied by the FDA and the CDC. Uh, so, despite spending the past, past few weeks assuring Americans that wearing a face mask in public is not necessary to stop the general spread of COVID-19, the CDC is reportedly reconsidering that stance. And I've already heard here in New Mexico that uh, they want you to wear a mask at all times. They're, they haven't imposed fines or jail time for not yeah, having them. Andrew and Trump said... The for CDC no, is recommending it, and then someone said, are you going to wear a mask? He's like, no, I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, no, he's not going like, to. fuck you. And you know <laughs> what? I'm not, if Trump ain't wearing a mask, and if anyone wants to challenge me if I'm out and about without one on, I'll be like, until Trump has one on, I'm not having one on. There you go. There you go. Fuck you. All right. We got to do it. We, we, we got we, we to do the oh, last. Oh, you're, you're, you're spreading the disease. Yeah. What, am I a leper? Everybody better get fucking 100 feet away from me then. All right. Anyway, we got to do the last set here. I'm a disease carrier, even though I have no symptoms, cunt. I am the virus. No, take oh. my temperature right now. Take my temperature. All right. All right. Take my temperature. Okay. We, we, we got to do our last set here. <laughs> okay. All right. This I'm is a, sorry, Graham. This uh, is shit. This is I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm not even sorry. I'm not even sorry. I'm not sorry. Not, not sorry. sorry. <laughs> all right. Sorry, so this, is a, this is a Kate request here. All right. All right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Lark and Poe are doing their version of, or one of their versions of Black Betty there for you. Oh, it was the New York State Blues Fest back in June of 2018. Before that, a new one, brand new one there from Ale Storm. Just came out yesterday, premiered it yesterday. Treasure Chest Party Quest. Yeah, that's some fun stuff right, right there. Oh, boy, I think those guys know how to have a good time, Ailstorm. Uh, prior to that, in this moment, along with Taylor Momsen and Lizzie Hale doing We Will Rock You. And, boy, those yeah. girls. Those girls, man, that's some heavy metal hotness there. Yeah, all, yeah. All, all three of them. And we kicked it off with a uh, request of by Kate Dire Straits and The Bug. Yeah, I love that song. Yeah, uh, it's a good one. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's going to wrap it up for us here tonight. And, uh, well, we want you all to stay good and healthy out there. And yep. You stay, uh, have a good time. Don't go crazy in your homes, being locked in your houses, because that would just be wrong. There ain't no yeah. reason for it. You know, you got, uh, which we got entertainment here from time to time. You know, yep. on, on certain, like tomorrow, you get the dark table. At uh, 2 p.m. Eastern on on Sunday, you know, we got all kinds of entertainment. We got right. the blues and the trivia here and uh, at, at, at noon Eastern, and then followed up by Hal at 3. And uh, so so we try to keep you entertained a little bit if we can, you know. Uh, yeah, if, and then, I if, mean, so many musicians are doing, um, you know, songs from their homes or songs yeah, from their yeah. homes. Like, check out YouTube, check out whatever. All you know, kinds of great you, stuff. Whatever. Right, right. Twitter. I mean, you can find it on Twitter. A lot of them, if you yeah. follow on Twitter, they'll they're doing a lot of artists are doing live streams out of their homes. It's really kind of a neat thing. It's great, yeah. And so, yeah. 
Uh, try to try to not you know try not to go crazy. <laughs> right. Yeah. Good luck with that, by the way. Yeah. And uh, I guess that's all. You all have a great have a great weekend, and uh, we'll, yeah. we'll we'll be back next Friday with more. Keep hanging on. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yep. So uh, peace. Peace.